Hello, I'm Karina Barn, Executive Director with Symphony Tacoma. Thank you so much for joining us for our first interlude performance of Dances and Goddesses. You may be wondering where I am right now, and I'm thrilled to be in the Tacoma City Ballet Studios. As part of Tacoma Arts Month, we're thrilled to be partnering with Tacoma City Ballet as they will present several movements of Robert Patterson's Book of Goddesses with original choreography by Miss Erin Sarajoli. Now, before we get started, I would love to thank our sponsors, Multicare Health System, University of Puget Sound, and Tacoma Creates. The musicians that we're featuring tonight are sponsored by Howard and Janine Stefan, as well as the Lynn Wainwright Palmer Endowment Fund. If you'd like to learn more about supporting Symphony Tacoma or sponsoring a musician, please visit symphonytacoma.org support. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy. My name is Catherine Case, and I'm acting Principal Harp with Symphony Tacoma. We're going to be playing a Song of the Lark by Charles Rochester Young. This is one of my favorite pieces to play with Jennifer because of the vivid imagery and colors that it creates throughout. In the first movement, it starts with really quiet wind blowing through the flute, and then it carries over to the harp, which starts ringing um, really gently. Eventually things wake up and you hear the sun bursting through into the heat of the day. The second movement, titled Flight, uses a uh, paper woven through the harp strings, which depicts the sound of birds' wings in flight. And if you've ever been close to a hummingbird, it actually sounds exactly like that. Thank you. 
Hi, I'm Denali Williams. I've been a percussionist with Symphony Tacoma since 2000. Today, my colleagues and I are going to perform uh, Robert Patterson's Book of Goddesses, a piece that depicts the idea of the goddess from various cultures around the world. Some of the more exotic percussion instruments I'll get to perform on are the Indian gatam, as well as Egyptian tambourines, uh, South American cajons, and Middle Eastern darabuka.
My name is Jennifer Rhine, and I play second flute in Symphony Tacoma. The next piece that you'll be hearing is for flute and harp. It's a work by the Argentinian composer Astor Piazzolla called The History of the Tango. And from this piece, we'll be playing the first movement titled Bordel 1900. And in this movement, Piazzolla pays homage to the earliest style of tango. It's very lively and great for dancing. One of my favorite things about this movement is the way that the flute and harp are used as percussive instruments. And in particular, you'll get to hear the harpist use knuckles to knock on the body of the instrument. Thank you. 